real quickly, I want to put to death the whole, uh, you know, salvation only for Israel. Uh, we're in Acts 26. And it's talking to King Agrippa. And um, if you go over here, it, it says, uh, let's start right here. It says, um, so King Agrippa, I did not prove disobedient to the heavenly vision, but kept declaring both in Damascus and Jerusalem, then throughout the region of Judea, and even to the Gentiles, that they should repent to God performing deeds. And this is important because, uh, you know, Agrippa could be considered, you know, a, a, a Gentile proselyte, you know, free from Eden, that he's now part of the Jewish religion. So, for this reason, some of the Jews seized me, the temple, and um, tried to put me to death. Uh, so I stand today testifying both small and great, and stating nothing but what with the prophets and Moses was going to take place, and that Christ was to suffer, and that by this reason, the resurrection from the dead, he was to proclaim the light to both the Jewish people and the Gentiles. So this light goes back to Isaiah 42. So the resurrection is the fulfillment of the kingdom, and it goes, as Isaiah said, the light to the Gentiles. So they're seeing this because Paul carried the light of Jesus to the Gentiles. So when Paul was saying this in, in his defense, Festus said in a loud voice, Paul, you are out of your mind. You, um, your great learning... Your great learning is driving you mad. But Paul said, I'm not out of my mind, most excellent Festus, but I utter... And Festus was married to um, Agrippa's daughter. Uh, so, but I utter the words of the sober truth, for the king knows that these matters, I speak to him also with confidence, since I am persuaded that none of these things escape his notice. For this has not been done in a corner. So... He's saying King Agrippa knows the ways of the prophets and Moses, and that this is, he should know that this resurrection is in line with what they say. King Agrippa, you do believe the prophets, don't you? You know, I mean, how much more obvious can it get? So, so then, you know, um, Mr. MacArthur puts a little note here to turn to X, or sorry, Luke, um, we were in X 26, now going to Luke 2. He said, Luke 2, Luke 2, this is verse 32, a light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory to your people Israel. So there's both. It's both right here. This is what Simeon, the Israelite, said. So here he's saying that Isaiah 42 is fulfilled, the light to the Gentiles, and that's the resurrection, as Paul is saying in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Thank you. Thank you.